Hello and what is up YouTube? My name is G3Iron and today we are talking about uh, low level farming and uh, glacial farming. So at some point like to have an experiment done uh, on the profitability of uh, glacial map farming, tier 2 farming, white maps farming, uh, specifically for the Legion monoliths. Love to be able to do that. I think we're going to have that featured at some point either later on this week or next week. But in the meantime, Loved to have this discussion uh, really about six months ago. We actually had the same similar discussion regarding low level darkness farming as well as betrayal harbor bridge farming. But without spoiling too much of the discussion, uh, very quickly, a quick overview for those of you who are new to the channel. You can, of course, like, subscribe and ding the bell for more discussions and videos just like this one. There are some time stamps that are placed directly above my completely bald forehead. And those are, of course, hot linked for you down below in the video description along with all of our various links to the various sources that we cite in this discussion. So this was a post that I came up with uh, the other day uh, and it's been a discussion that we've been having as a guild for better or for worse over the last uh, half a week or so. Yeah, over the last three to four days. And really the question just boils down to this. Is low level repeatable content farming for currency uh is that something that ggg will nerf this discussion is not a discussion over whether or not that's good or bad for path of exile i'm already on record multiple times both through videos as well as through reddit posts as well as through discussions on discord as saying i personally think that low level accessible repeatable currency farming is a good thing for the economics of Path of Exile. That is G3 Iron's personal opinion. I'm not speaking on behalf of anybody else inside uh, uh, Good Guy Gaming. I'm not speaking on behalf of anybody at Grinding Gear Games. I'm simply saying me personally, I think it's great. I think the reason why it's great are several different reasons, but that's another discussion entirely. I let Let it just be said on the record once again. I think low level farming is good. It's a good thing for the economics. It's a good thing for players that are doing the low level farming. And it's a good thing for players that are doing higher level farming. But that's another discussion. The discussion that we're having today, which some people seems to think we're having that discussion over whether or not this is good or not. That's not the discussion that we're having. The discussion that we're having is, is glacial farming and tier two maps, tier three maps, white maps, essentially farming monoliths. Is that going to be categorically nerfed? by GGG. What do you think if, if that's going to be categorically nerfed? Because we've got policies and precedents already laid out for us by Grinding Gear Games that they nerf things which are low level, repeatable, no investment currency farming. So some background. Okay, example one came during Delve League when we had low level darkness farmers that would spam relatively low level encounters, having a relatively pacifist mindset using things like acrobatics and phasing to run around in the darkness and loot fossils and resonators. GGG nerfed this by making darkness damage nearly impossible to avoid regardless of your HP pool. The resulting response by GGG was that low level, low level profitability of Delve was nerfed and darkness farming in general was nerfed okay example number two also during delve league we had people spamming quarry and ossuary for nico encounters grabbing sulfite since the encounter nearly always spawned near the waypoint players would then remake the instance and rinse and repeat until they had sulfite this was a mindless way of farming sulfite regardless of your purpose for needing the sulfite, whether that was for darkness farming or whether that was for pushing high level delves. That doesn't matter. It, either way, the purpose for gathering the sulfite doesn't matter. It was nerfed by GGG, okay? The result of this was simply that spammable instances with league mechanics were moved and placed further away from waypoints, as well as sulfite costs inside delve itself being adjusted to compensate for the new availability of sulfite once Delve went core. Example number three, during Betrayal League, there were multiple ways to maximize profits by running specific encounters with Jun and then blocking 
other styles of encounters. Many players would target farm scarabs, pure breach stones, and crafting benches over and over and over again to consistently make currency. Players would build high move speed characters to run Harbor Bridge or Ossuary or other repeatable story zones in order to quickly encounter Jun and repeat as quickly as possible their currency generating loop. This was also nerfed by GGG. The resulting response was from GGG, first to change the way that blocking works for betrayal encounters and two to change the way pure breach stone uh, level zones work. Uh, which that was mostly a result of the level 100 spam. That was less the result of the of the low level uh, repeatable currency farming, but it nonetheless had an effect on that as well. And so now we snap back to the present. This is where we're at today in Legion League 3.7. We have white maps being farmed that are either A, open, and or B, the monolith spawns in a favorable place, i.e. a wide open space or a place that is close to your original waypoint when you first port into a zone. The question is, is this low-level farming like darkness farming or Betrayal Harbor Bridge spamming? I, again, have already said I personally love these styles of making currency as they give newer and poorer players in Path of Exile very simplistic and easy-to-follow methods to earn currency towards their own goals for the League. GGG does not like these styles of low-level farming as they have, over the last year, continually nerfed, repeatable, low-cost, high-reward, speed-based currency farming. This isn't just the zoom-zoom meta that people talk about where Path of Exile is speeding up and becoming more and more of a just delete everything off of the screen as quickly as possible and click on the rewards as quickly as possible. This isn't talking about that shift in meta. This is talking about specifically low-level stuff where sometimes you're killing things, but we've got examples with darkness farming where you're relatively passive or pacifist. You're not killing stuff in order to gather currency, and that also got nerfed. So this has had a massive shift on the way how the dominant meta is being influenced by currency farmers who are playing the game, be that Empyrean, be that Cute Dog, be that MPX Extreme, be that Grimro or any of the fine fellows that are on Bay class. Like it's trickled down from the top tier streamers and content creators and influencers to rank and file casual people like you and like you and me that get to play way less <laughs> than all of those other content creators, right? Now at this point you might say, okay, but Iron, those other low level farming instances had zero cost requirement attached to them, right? Because they were inside story zones. So now low-level glacier alleyways, etc., farming costs at least white tier maps to span to, 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 in order to span these. So there's an argument of difference here that, oh, well, it used to be that it was just story act, and so there was zero cost, but now it's at least a white map cost, so that means it won't get nerfed by GGG, right? As a low-level repeatable instance farming method. While low-level maps are just that, they're maps, and so they have some opportunity cost to be on time, they are easily sustainable regardless of what your Atlas completion percentage is at. If you're playing in a trade league, the currency from each of these runs is easily enough for you to buy plenty of replacement maps, even if you don't want to bother with filling out your Atlas completion percentage and depend on your own map drops to sustain this, this method. You can simply make the currency and then go purchase glacial maps or other types of maps from other players. Okay, so you might raise up another objection. Fair enough point, Iron. You might say, however, you've neglected to take into consideration that this is indeed a league mechanic. Delve was fixed simply by going core and not having Nico present in every instance. And Betrayal was similarly fixed by not having Jun present in every instance. Therefore, Monolith farming will be fixed by simply going core, but not being present in every instance. This is true that there is a natural nerf that happens from a reusable resource like a league mechanic going from every single instance to a reduced spawn rate in the core of PoE. However, in each of the above three examples, GGG went beyond simply saying, oh, it's going to be you know, less present now because it's no longer this particular mechanic that's enabling this low level repeatable currency farming. It's no longer going to be available in every instance, therefore it's fixed. In each of these examples, and this is one of the reasons why I went back and thought through each of these examples. In each of these examples, GGG went beyond simply that and intentionally target nerfed these methods beyond reducing their frequency. 
Yes, their frequency was reduced when they went core. And in addition to that, there were other nerfs in order to kill this low level repeatable farming methods. Okay, that's the discussion. Do we think GGG is going to nerf this because it's like those other things? In every instance, GGG has pushed for additional nerfs to reduce the feasibility of currency farming through low level repeatable content. Why is it that monolith farming will survive in any sort of similar iteration to what we currently have when GGG has already displayed such a trend in nerfing darkness farming, sulfite spamming, and betrayal spamming? Okay, again, to clarify, some people in this comment thread and some people on Discord, I don't think I've communicated this very, very well over the last couple of days, so I'm hoping to clarify this via the video. We're not here to debate or discuss if low-level low level repeatable currency farming is good for the game. I already firmly implanted in the this is a good thing camp. I think it's great. I'm here for someone to hopefully explain and to discuss how the heck this low tier mapping won't get tweaked or nerfed by GGG since it seems to go against GGG's philosophy regarding low level currency farming. Some people have responded to this thread and said, yes, it's going to get nerfed. Some people have just totally missed the boat on this thread and begun debating this exact point, which this is an interesting discussion if you think that low level currency farming is good. Some people have totally missed the point and think that, that um, what I'm saying here is that low level farming is better than high level farming. I've never said that, and I'm not saying that here in this discussion. I'm not saying it here in this discussion video. Didn't say it here in this discussion post. So don't hear what I'm not saying. I'm not saying this is the best way to make currency. I'm saying this is a simple, basic approach that anyone can follow with any level of time investment once they've gotten to maps in the progression of their character. Okay? So that's the nature of the conversation. I would love to hear what your thoughts are down below and interact and read those in the comments down below. I don't see how there's any way. I mean, last week I was just saying, I really hope that Legion goes core. I think it's going core. I don't think there's any chance in heck uh, that Legion doesn't go core. Okay, I really don't. It, it's going to go core. But those of you who are simply going to respond, yeah, well, oh, Iron, it's going to go core. And therefore, that's going to be a nerf in and of itself. You haven't been listening. GGG nerfs things even after they go core when they are low-level, repeatable, instance-based farming. That's a, a pattern of behavior that GGG has exhibited. And so what I want to know is, is can any of us come up with a reason or an argument about why monolith farming in maps is different? I think the best argument that I've heard so far is that there's at least the opportunity cost of maps as opposed to spamming zones inside the story mode. That at least is something that is different from low-level darkness farming or from sulfite spamming or from betrayal spamming. So leave us a comment down below. Let us know what your thoughts are. I look forward to interacting and engaging with those. Hopefully we can actually discuss something of the topic at hand and not all of these other wonderful things that are wonderful things to discuss, uh, but it's just another topic altogether. So I hope today is the day a mirror of Calandra drops for you right after you get done letting me know why you think monolith farming won't get nerfed and is different from all this other low level repeatable instance currency farming that's out there. Thanks for watching that video. If you'd like more information on any of our discussion points today, you can see them down below in the video description. If you'd also like to join our Discord or support our Patreon, you can do so with the links down below. Thanks again and big shout out to all of our Patreon supporters.